have some coffee. Mm. That dark roast. Hello and welcome to Escape from Mount Backlog, one man's quest to defeat his game's library. Today, we'll be looking at Refunct. Refunct is a short yet super replayable first-person free-running platforming type thing, touted by one-man developer Dominique Grisoffer as, quote, a peaceful, short, first-person platformer about restoring a vibrant world while being as accessible and enjoyable for players of any gender, age, or skill set. And well, damn it if that doesn't just hit the nail on the head. It's a simple concept, executed beautifully. It is absolutely dead simple to learn, and within the first 20 minutes I was parkouring, wall jumping and ledge grabbing all over the place. And dang gummit, I was really enjoying it until it not ended. It doesn't really end, you see, because uh, I'll get to that. So the main goal is to push big red buttons to expand the world, which unlocks new big red buttons, which you press, and eventually you unlock the final button and it's yellow. Once you hit that button, the camera zooms out to show you the map, which you have been coloring throughout the run. And yes, the map is in a specific shape, but I won't spoil that, because it's just so damn cute the first time you just need to experience it for yourself. But seriously, the gameplay is so dead simple, anyone can pick it up. It's just movement, camera, jump and crouch. That's it. No use button, no fire, because you don't have weapons, and no press F to pay respects. Graphically, it's got a clean and simple look, which easily could seem like a concession, but here feels like a deliberate design choice. Clean lines make the world easy to navigate, damn near impossible to get lost in. It truly is zen. Without being pretentious like another zen game I covered recently. I mean, to speak to replayability, after the first run, you can easily do a run in 10 minutes or less. A perfect little zone out game. If I had one criticism, and this is minor, I kinda wish there were more than just the one map, but on the other hand a case can be made that adding more maps would have diluted the focus for the experience as it is. And did I even mention that this is the developer's first commercial release? Though not their first game. In fact, Refunct shares a fair portion of its DNA from Grisoffer's previous game, Refunction. Refunction itself is a freely available, link below, first-person stealth game with aesthetic sensibilities I would put somewhere between Portal and Mirror's Edge. It may be a bit rough around the edges, but it, with Refunct, shows the serious knack for level design that Grisoffer has. And then I did a little digging, and those aren't the only things he's worked on. In addition to these games, Grisoffer reworked the Sateka SE deathmatch map for Unreal Tournament 2004. At the behest of Klux.org for their use in professional and paid tournaments, beyond that, he also developed Freelancer Mod Studio, a modding tool for the 2003 Space Sim Freelancer, which is a game very near and dear to my heart. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of the mods that I used in later playthroughs were made with it. Now with that little tangent about the developer done, I've got to talk about the music. Composed by Christofferson sounds like your typical indie game twee shit. And that may sound like a knock, but it's not, because in conjunction with the game itself, with the whole look and feel, it's bloody perfect. It really promotes this sort of light, airy, easy breezy gameplay. In fact, here, have a listen with the visuals. <laughs> Isn't that just perfect for this kind of game? At this point, you might be asking, but what's the point of this game? Well, to relax, obviously. But beyond that, if you need a goal, you can chase the achievements. 
There are a couple of them. One for painting 100% of the map in a single run, one for completing a run while only painting 33% of the map, and two speedrun achievements. One for completing a run in under 8 minutes, and another for under 4. These do give you a goal to strive towards, and help generate replayability, but I can't help but feel that the two speedrun achievements are antithetical to the core design of the game. I mean, yes, you can run it quickly, but I found that just running it without trying to beat a tie, just zoning out is when the game is at its best. And before we wrap up, I just need to give some kind of award to the options menu, which is way more fully featured than it has any right to be. It even has FOV settings. That alone deserves a high five, Mr. Greasehoffer. Well done. And that'll just about wrap up this episode of Escape from Mount Backlog. Have you played Refunct? Is it stuck in your backlog? Give it a shot. And if you've never heard of it and want to try it out, when it's not on sale, it's $3 or your regional equivalent. I was being 35 Rand. And as always, guys... Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I've got a new end title screen and everything. It's very swanky. And tune in next time when we look at something a little Scottish.